Welcome back folks, it's Sunday evening again, you all are here live on the couch with Bob and Daryl, fortunate, Hello. fortunate for them, uh, everybody around the world that is not watching Super Bowl tonight and that uh, cares about Trinidad and Tobago culture, welcome back to the couch, we have special guests Myron B and Angie on the line in Trinidad and Tobago, how y'all going out there? We're good, how are you? <laughs> Fantastic. Um, that's just proof that they are here with us live and it's not a recording. Um, our show tonight, we are going to cover a lot of stuff. We have music videos, both by Myron B, the incredible Myron B, and Angie and Carnival Flavor. We have new music videos by uh, Patrice Roberts. We have news videos of uh, some schoolgirls fighting in Trinidad, some news from Bad News from KFC, and the infamous Highway Shootout will be discussed as well. Um, the cackle hole for the week this week is none other than the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. We'll make bring that to you all as well. And we have holes, why is always why is it so easy for us to find cackle holes, boy? Trinidad and Tobago is full of them, I guess. <laughs> we have uh, we have Myron, we have Myron cracking up there. Trinidad. I know, I know. Fortunately, we have some good news for you all in terms of the Miaro refurbishment to the roads. So we'll bring that to you all as well. But we don't want to waste any more time. We want to jump straight into Trinidad. With Myron B and Angie, how 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 are y'all going so far? Y'all have been busy. All I'm seeing all over y'all Instagram is radio station after radio station after radio station. What's uh how how's how's life going for Carnival season two K fifteen for y'all? Well, it's been an amazing experience. This is my first time doing a song with Myron B. Um, it's called Tilia Wet and it's a power soca. I've been having a <laughs> fantastic time uh, collaborating with Myron because. He's, he's uh, amazing to work with, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great, great season so far. Now, you all made it to the semis of the International Soccer Monarch. Yeah. Now, what made, what, what do you all think made you all stand out from the rest? Well, Myron? Well, I mean, it's Angie from Japan. Right, we have um, <laughs> to see. We we had a lot of foreigners coming and doing soca over the years, and not much of them really cut it. Right, they, they, they came and they were more more of a novelty piece in the soca monarch and only in the soca scene. And to have Angie come and do the soca, I mean, just like we trainees do it, right, with the same energy, pump and flair, right. I think that was um the biggest talking point of oh. our um, collaboration. Thanks, Myron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right? We don't have nothing to do with the kids are sexy on stage, but... <laughs> 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 we, we, were, we were talking to the artists. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> well, we were talking to the artist Phenomenon from Barbados, who's also a really good singer. And one of the things that we noticed um, is that He's, he kept reiterating is that soca is such a hard genre to get into. Mm -hmm. Do you feel, do you feel coming from Japan, do you feel that it is a hard genre to break into in terms of um, singing and getting the melodies down packed and all that? Mm, well, I've been singing J-pop since I was 17 years old and I started singing soca like almost three years ago now. Uh, right. It's definitely a different uh, feel and genre, more energy and vibe. Um, so, starting off, I think I had a tough time a little bit um, learning how to sing soca and getting it correct with the accents and stuff, but <laughs> right now I'm getting used to it. I mean, Myron's been teaching me a lot how to present myself up on stage and I'm learning so much in Trinidad right now. Um, like, getting into the industry, I think, is another different story but I have a really good team backing me up here starting off with my manager Gabriel Bernard and my publisher Mike Starr and of course Myron this time around and I have an awesome team actually so 
yeah, I'm having fun while I'm doing it. Yeah, so it's been a great experience. No, you mentioned you mentioned J-pop. I know J-pop. I know K-pop are humongous, um, okay. humongous genres. Yeah. How is the how is the Japanese culture now taking to the soca? Because I know that soca is also starting to pick up over there as well. Yeah, well, of course. Uh, I think the young youth and kids really enjoy soca. It's up tempo, and especially during summertime, everybody wants to listen to more up tempo and groovy in power soca so i think a lot of people are warming up to soca music and they really love reggae music so i think it's i a lot of people think soca music is still reggae part of reggae right. so right. uh we're trying to bring that trini culture and soca music to japan so everybody will notice soca music more and that's exactly what we're doing now Nice. And how did y'all two come to link up on this collaboration? Myron? Me, me, no, I find it very good to tell him. Right, right. <laughs> He's making me do all the talking. Gosh. <laughs> usually, usually she would sit with you and smile. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a talkative person, so. Anyways, <laughs> yes, we have the same management team. Um, as I said, uh, our manager, Gabriel Bernard, and our publisher, Mike Starr. So that's how we came across this collaboration this time. Um, he saw me at Soka Monarch last year, and he thought I was really cool and awesome. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Vibes, man. <laughs> yeah, that's how we linked up this year. So now that, uh, now that Angie has come to Trinidad, Myron, um, are you going to Japan anytime soon? <sighs> Well, we have one of that in the books, right? We don't want to spoil too many secrets. Yeah, that, um, I, 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 it's actually to my heart, right? And we're taking the music globally right now. So look out for other collaborations, right? I want to do some of her kind of stuff as well, right? This J-pop business. Right. I learned three words in Japanese, so I feel I already know. Right. right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we looking out for that, right? I have, um, but I will be launching my band after the carnival season. The nice. name of the band is Calypso Night. And we'll be doing music that targeting the global market, right? As opposed to the, 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 the traditional Calypso and Soka thing as we usually do it here in Trinidad. Right. Right. So the collaboration with Angie, you know, I mean, it worked well for the long term goal and the, 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 the next phase of the mission. You see, when we're thinking about, you know, the name Myron B, we don't pinpoint Myron B to just one genre either because, I mean, you have some parody songs, you have soca songs, you have Calypso songs, you have some funny songs, you have political songs, you have, you know, Calypso. What is your, and now maybe J-pop, so what is your favorite, um, what is your favorite avenue to sing in? Well, it, it, it is interesting, huh? You see, what people don't accept or acknowledge is that all of these so-called different subgenres is basically calypso, right? right? It's the same thing, right? And what um, I've been working on over the years is trying to trying to trying to settle in the niche of being the complete calypso entertainer, right. right? So that would mean doing the calypso, that would mean doing the soca, that would mean doing the extempo, right? All of that is part of the thing, right? right? So to say I have one particular one that I like, I mean, teach his own, but. I, if, if, if I'm to favor one stream of the um, the thing, it would be the soca bar. I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's just it. When when Christmas time come around in Trinidad, yeah, we Christmas time we was heavy on. Yeah, on, yeah, my R&B. yeah, my R&B was she, strong. We was to run every single every other song was our R&B. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you all yeah. uh, uh, everyone has different outtakes when it comes to international soca mana. Whether you be a spectator, whether you be a performer, whether you be an organizer. Are y'all as as a as a duo now? Are y'all um, satisfied, content with making it to semis, or disappointed that we didn't go all the way to the to the finals and mash it up? Well, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed that we couldn't make it to the finals because we did put everything that we had into practice and coming up to this point to the semifinals, uh, we did put in a lot of work and effort to that stage and we really I think we really executed 
the semifinal stage. So I would say I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm really proud that we did our best, mm -hmm. and I think that's what counts. Well, uh, have you all, have you all had a chance to watch the playback of the of these of the um, performances that you all put on? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, as I said, for for us, we we did our best, right? And nobody, at least not me, right? I don't go into competition to make up numbers or, or, or for the experience. I go into win, right? Mm -hmm. And within, you know, I mean, have different dimensions to winning, mm -hmm. right? It's, so Kamonak has moved from a traditional, a simple competition to, to, to something with a global viewership of hundreds of thousands of people who, are, who have nothing to do with the Trinidad and Tobago, right? right. I, I might be old enough to say millions, huh? yeah, right? Yeah. That people are not, not used to our culture, right? So the, the, the layer of that audience, right, or, or that, that stage, right, is very, um, well, I mean, it's very attractive. So, not making it to the finals, I mean, life goes on, right? You, you take it on the chin and you move on. You have well, to do better yeah. next well, time. Well, the reason I Ibex is, is because um, watching the, watching the Soko Monarch, it was definitely you all were a, a class about the rest vocally in terms of how it sounded coming across the microphone, right? So, mm -hmm. when I hear semis, I say, right, all right. Look, Angie and, By and Myron B going, they're going to make it to the finals. So when I saw that the names weren't posted in the finals, that's why I was a little bit disappointed, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, nonetheless, um, congratulations still on making it to the semifinals. Hopefully okay. next year, hopefully next year, there's always next year, there's always years to come. What we're going to do For is, sure. people at home, we're going to give you all a taste of... In case you haven't seen Angie or Myron B, we have videos for you all lined up. We're going to take you all to Myron's live performance at Skinner Park, right? And this is the performance for One More Sip. Take it in, check it out, come right back. We're here live on the couch, Angie, Myron B. Stay tuned. One More Sip. So this is Myron B, the incredible Myron B. Alive all night again with them guys Now I staggering home, my head feeling nice I jump in my bed, fuck my wifey I'm surprised that she didn't cuss me In the morning I ain't a blip I only feel like I'm getting kissed When I wake up, dies when I see I hugging my dog in the gallery Boy, no! I'm telling him no I will never drink from my game My wife walk outside and catch me with Rover One more sip Before I could explain she tell me it's over One more sip If my woman leave me boy I don't mind One more sip But I'm getting harassed when I see the dog watch me and start to whine no, I will never drink from my game. In a bar, just give me one more sip, one more sip, one more sip, one more sip. One more sip. My head real bad, I leave in the dance. I shouldn't drive, but I'm taking a chance. When I reach by my car, somebody grab me hand. Start to whine, then I get a club from behind. I see better lies a handcuff and gun. You know it's police are whining on man. No, I will never drink from my game. I'm telling you, no, I will never drink from my game. The next day in court, I'm feeling very enough. One more sip. And what make it worse and smelling stink around One more sip The magistrate asks me how do you plead One more sip I say your honor inside the toilet Just like everybody man No I will never drink from my game Before they lock up my tail Just give me one more sip One more sip One more sip One more sip 
shop come like my second home. One night I drinking outside alone. I see a man and a woman just start to fight. I say I'm going to jump in for she got that is right. Before I hit the man I could drink. I see the woman pick up a stick. Well, boy, I thought she going to kill him. You know she end up beating me. I know. Fit like a fiddle and strong like a bison One more sip And she left hand hitting harder than Tyson One more sip I see the man run off catching red kicks One more sip He tell me thank your partner for saving me from getting all that mix Man, no I will never drink from again Only just give me one, one more sip One more sip One more sip Like all you have no manners have been here. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. Say one more sip. One more sip. One more sip. The Prime Minister can't drink rum like me. I could talk because I used to knock glass with she. When she take a little drink, people just get back. Cause they find she does get on out of context If you find she acting crazy Well it's not from drinking with me The reason why she screws does seem loose Cause she mixing she rum with Trinidad juice But no I will never drink from my kids I'm telling you no I will never drink from my kids She have a drinking partner, he named a Nancy. One more sip. Everybody say that man is a bully. One more sip. Jack Warner say all you take note. One more sip. He bullying man, woman, and child, and he does even bully good man. No. I will never drink from a kid. One more sip, boy. And we're back live. I see Bob Bob take out one more sip there just now. Uh, yeah, you have to go in between. Yeah. You have to go in between the bottle and you know. While while yeah. while he was working, I hope the boss didn't see because he might get fired. <laughs> Don't worry about the boss. Um a special shout out tonight goes to Wollstone for our in studio um our, our in studio teleprompter. teleprompters. Thanks for that. That I have to write on every week because it's a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Myron B and Angie Lyman and Trinidad together in the studio. We have them live with us right now. Yay. Guys, what is um, Carnival Carnival 2K15 is... We're almost there. We're right there. Are you all playing Carnival this year? I'm playing Mass. Yes. I don't play Mass. Myron don't play Mass. Why, why, why? I don't play Mass. Why, why? Uh, well, I'm playing with Fantasy this year. All right, I was going to ask who you're playing with. Now, one of the questions we like to ask um, some of the artists is, do y'all get uh, carnival packages delivered to your doorstep? And if not, why not? <laughs> oh. I mean, I mean for free, Angie. I mean for free. Well, all right. Let, 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 me, let me take a little bit of that one. Nice. But you don't play that. The, the, the offers come. Right? right. Oh. The offers come. So to answer your question, I would say yes. Right? It's just that I have never been inclined to take it up. Right, okay. Yes. Not my thing. No, and what about Angie? Angie, you buy your costume or you or someone or you I, got it comp this year? I do buy my costume. Uh, I bought it online because obviously I wasn't here for the launch and stuff. Right. So I bought it online which costumes I wanted. I have a friend that does everything for me this time um because i don't i didn't know if i was gonna have time to go pick it up myself and stuff so actually i have a friend 
and can pick up my costume for me, which is also <laughs> playing fantasy. So nice. yeah. I know, and I'm guessing over the years now you just have a real big social circle now in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I see. Yeah. I've, been, I've been looking at your Facebook page all week. And I mean, I've, I've, I've been, I've been, um, all I've been seeing is pictures, is pictures of down the islands and pictures yeah. of. Yes. Beach and I, I I'm here I'm here in Calgary and it's snowing and cold and minus thirty and and like I'm like would you please stop posting these pictures? <laughs> I know it's freezing cold here. What I want to do oh, though is I have I have I have a bunch of questions here that I'm gonna I'm gonna read off, right? Okay. I, I don't want either of you all to think about them, but we're gonna introduce a video first. I'm gonna take them into Angie's video first for. Uh, Soka Lovers, uh, the Carnival Flavor video. And I'm going to come back, we're going to rapid fire these questions off to you all. We're not going to allow you all any time to think. While we're off the air, we're not going to give you all the, um, the questions either. All right? Okay. So we're going to take you all into this video. This is Angie and Carnival Flavor with Soka Lovers. Come right back. We have the rapid fire questions for them right after this. No time to think about it at all. You're ready? All right, okay. We're coming right back after this. Stay tuned.
Alright, welcome back. That was Angie and Carnival Flavor with Soka Lovers. So yeah. we... I, I like that. I like that vibe and I, I like the video too. Um, Alright, we have, we, have these, we have these quick questions for you all. Right? Players. So you're all gonna answer. You're gonna answer together Players. or independently. All right. Besides, okay. besides yourself or yourselves, two favorite soca artists. Oh, you mean I go first? Well, Ola Tunji and Bungie Garland. Bungie Garland. Yeah. Myron. I would say, of course, <laughs> Marshall Montano Marshall. and Mr. Longevity himself, Iowa George. All right, all right. Besides your own songs, favorite soca song doesn't matter the year. Doesn't matter the year? Oh, God, that's hard. You should have, like, made it this year. Oh, all right. Gosh. Favorite soca song of 2015 for Angie. Favorite soca song ever for Myron. Go first. Mighty Shadow. What is on that go? Wave it, dun 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 dun, wave it, do your thing. Stranger, stranger. Angie? This year. This year, I feel like Ola Tunji's song. Ola, 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 And any time would be Destra's Carnival and TNT. That's big. I think that would be my own. I think that would be my own for sure. Outside of your own country, your favorite, your next favorite country. Uh, the places I've been to. Yeah, anywhere. <laughs> uh, actually, anywhere in the world, Trinidad. Anywhere. Nice, good answer <laughs> for all the Trinis. I was like, I didn't even. Yeah, this is like my second home. My run. Gosh. Well, I ain't going too far. I love the beautiful island of Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia is nice. That. Um, I feel this one we're gonna have to go to Angie. Angie, who has more fun, blondes or brunettes? Blondes. <laughs> uh, if for both of y'all, if you, if you, if you're on a, uh, well, from that video that you definitely had a little bit of blonde in there as well. Um, okay. <laughs> who, if you're if you're liming on a beach, soca or reggae? Soka. Soka. It's you. Yeah. If I on the beach? Yeah. Wait, where is your normal Yeah, alright. Rasta reggae. Reggae music, shake it. Yeah, reggae is really nice. What do you prefer, the beach or down the islands? Ah, it was my first time going down the islands the other day. I really, really enjoyed it. That's hard to say, but... I saw dolphins down the island, so I would say the island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually Good saw answer. live dolphins, like wild dolphins. That was super <laughs> exciting. Super exciting. That, that is that is one of the best places on it is down the island. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. Um, it's exciting in the night, huh? Scary. <laughs> <laughs> We have a we have a huge argument in Trinidad every year, and it is based on the expression "shark and bake" or "bake and shark." Bake and shark, right? Bake and shark. All right. Yeah. But you know they have a lot of people that say shark and bake. Yeah, that's it. That's bake it between, between two pieces of shark. <laughs> but, I, but that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed <laughs> to have more shark than bake. Or shark catfish. Or catfish. You know it's catfish, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, two, the two most popular types of chow in Trinidad are pineapple chow and mango chow. Which one do you prefer? Pineapple or pineapple or mango? Mango by Dundo. Mango chow. And I know you have an obligation to introduce Angie to Chow. I can't believe this lovely lady has been visiting the shores of Trinidad and Tobago for these all these years. And nobody has ever brought this girl a bag of chow. The problem is, I think she visiting outside of mango season. Oh, uh -huh. all right, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah. Well, then, we're, <laughs> Angie's like, ah, catch her. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but it still sounds good. Is it food? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like um, in, in North America, we would consider it like a pickled chow or pickled pineapple, but it's... Seasoned, seasoned fruit. <gasps> 
I've seen those. I've seen those. See, you see, I know she, I know she passed it. All right, last yeah. question. Um, right. Absolute, hands down, if you was on death row, favorite food, this is your ultimate food to go to. Oh, that's hard. I love food. Just choose one, any genre of food. Oh, your type, my, like my own, for example, would be stew chicken and rice. That would be my absolute go-to. That's my last meal ever. That's my last supper. What would your own be? Hmm. <laughs> anything, anything. Japanese, sushi. Chinese. Sushi. Okay, all right, sushi. I like sushi too. Yeah. Sushi, yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 I must straight up vegan, so that would be a mango, yes? <laughs> 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 yeah, I agree. And um yeah, no that that's it, that's it. Y'all did well though. Y'all were y'all were answering quite well. That was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So and I knew now when it just started. I know. Oh, I oh I have plenty I have plenty more questions here. Alright, favorite thing about Trinidad and Tobago? Food, people, nightlife, or music? Or that's everything in a package though. You can't yeah. choose one. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's a good answer. I'll take that. That's a good answer. I'll take that. Um, okay. All right. Can you name... You all have a U.S. tour coming up, correct, Angie? Sorry? What's that? Tour? Do you all have a U.S. tour coming up? I do. I was told. I, I was told. I don't know. I was asking. Uh, um, we're, we're asking. Do you all have a U.S. tour coming up? Or is there Not hints of a U.S.? I hope so. Hey, Mommy, look at that, boy. People in the U.S. coming. We might, Mommy. um, we, yeah, we, I know what to say. We might have to fly Angie and Myron B. to Calgary <laughs> to help warm up the city a little bit. Boy, cool now. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, I really want, like, tour for a lot of different carnivals in the world. So, this year, I really want to do that. So you haven't, gotten, so you haven't gotten calls to the Miami Carnivals, the St. Lucia's, the Barbados, the Jamaica, the Toronto? No, the thing is, I do get calls, but they're not willing to pay the transportation from Japan. <laughs> How am I supposed to get there if you can't pay that, huh? huh? I agree, I agree, I agree. So <laughs> now so no, what we need to do is we need to have you... Yeah, we need to have you stationed in like Miami from now on then, so that you are easily accessible to everywhere that wants to see Angie on a stage. Yeah. One more, one more question that I that I have here, and this is actually a fan question: is um, what is the biggest shows y'all have ever performed at? Whether together Me? or separately, doesn't matter. Me would be so common last year would be I think the biggest uh, stage. With lots of people. How many people was there last year? 25,000. 25,000 people? Yeah, they say it was a little more bit less. More than that? <laughs> yeah, more than that. that. I think that was the biggest for me. Um, yeah. You, Myron? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Some big ones. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Think. Think, think, think. <laughs> You see, Myron, Myron has been in this industry so long now that every, every show, you know? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you end up in some places. <laughs> he has a long career, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Myron, Myron is a veteran in, in the soccer yeah. industry. I don't know if I'm a veteran, man. There's an old man thing in my ears. I can't grow a beard yet. Look, he's a veteran. He's a black and thing, man. He's off and everything. Still you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't, none can come to mind right now as the biggest because, I mean, they, they are all, were all experiences that, I mean, I just thoroughly enjoyed. Right? Uh, we did some big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. And yeah, you have done some big, massive shows over the years too. I mean, I give or take a thousand people. You are definitely in that 25,000 um, person range as well. Um, one of the things we like to ask artists as well is backstage at concerts, at shows, whatever. Um, what is it? What is your your guys' take on the backstage life at Trinidad um, Trinidad Fets and concerts? In terms of in terms of well, yeah, well, in terms of you know, you see all the artists there. Is it a big lime? Is it a good lime? Are there a lot of groupies backstage? Like, what is that vibe like for y'all? Well, 
they um for the most part yeah you see artists around but once once it's carnival time everybody busy True. so everybody trying to get on stage first they leave to go and do the next show right, right? for the most part right yeah. of course we we don't want to be busy but we we find fans around right we right. find fans around when around their favorite artists or whatever the case might be according to the to the type of type of event but usually it's yeah. backstage is a very um busy it, it not it, it not as, as, as i would put it not as hollywood right no yeah. Sort of, ah! yeah 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 the, 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 the promoters are not really deal with the, the backstage situation yeah. in a very um professional manner Right. right, so you don't get a lot of the Cuban fans trying to come and grab an at you and that kind of thing. Easy in, easy out. Right. All right, we're going to take a break now. We're going to run into a video from Myron. Now, Myron, this, I like this song too, this bottom in your face. This is from a, a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, when you asked us like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can tell the difference. So we're going to run into this video. We're going to come right back. We're going to finish up with Myron B and Angie. Let them get back to their Panorama. Sunday events. You know, it's kind of a season. So every day, no matter what day of the week it is, there's alcohol to be drunk and a good time to be have. Yeah. This is my run B, the video for Bottom in Your Face. We come back after this. We're gonna... I like this video too. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the video is kicks too. I like this video. And the other one I like too. We're going to run that one later. Also, when we come back, we're going to touch base with all the fans watching around the world. Big up to all the cities watching. We're going to bring up the analytics and big y'all up. All right? So stay tuned. Come right back after this. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I jump in a maxi, bottom in your face. As I get a seat in a maxi, bottom in your face. From Port of Spain straight up to Gandhi, bottom in your face. Just cause I ain't coming out early, bottom in your face. People passing rubbing up on me, bottom in your face. Like they have no boom boom good to see, bottom in your face. Like they have no boom boom good to see, bottom in your face. I travel from Vigo, down to Sando, Separia, to Arima Anywhere you go in your face, they push in bottom I jump in a bus, head into Sando, bottom in your face People sit down and standing up also, bottom in your face A man sit down in a seat in front of me, bottom in your face I swear the lady stand up next to he, bottom in your face The man shout what nastiness is this, bottom in your face I think I smell in rotten and salt fish Bottom in your face Somebody had to wash out their business Bottom in your face Somebody had to wash out their business Bottom in your face I travel from Vivo down to Santo Santa Flora to Arima Anywhere you go in your face They push in bottom Excuse me? I find you real fast That's some stale fake and salt fish I have inside my bag Who you telling to go and wash out the business? Jump in a maxi, bottom in your face. Just so, my belly start to work me, bottom in your face. I had the books, but they can't know it's me, bottom in your face. Sitting down by a nice young lady, bottom in your face. I start to squeeze and let it out easy, bottom in your face. I hear, so I know that she catch me, bottom in your face. The girl say last time I too nasty, bottom in your face. I travel from Vigo, down to Sando, Separia, all Arima Anywhere you go, watch what's coming out your bottom I tell she I is a big entertainer Bottom in your face Me and fat is a dirty liar Bottom in your face I just sing and travel all over Bottom in your face I'm more big than Marshall and Iowa Bottom in your face She say, where's your name? The mighty pop sir. Bottom in your face the whole maxi burst out in laughter Bottom in your face While they kicks in and having their fun Bottom in your face I just press the bell and I'll let go one next one Bottom in your face I travel from Vivo down to Santo Santa Flora to Arima Anywhere you go in your face they push it bottom
Bottom in your face. All kind of bottom in face, yes. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. <laughs> there's no life for struggling youth, man, boy. No so we are life. back here. That was Everybody Myron B. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 But I'm in the road. <laughs> what, and, and what you're hearing there is my run singing in the background, right? So we want to take we want to take this time to thank my run and Angie. We understand, and you were in you were in uh, Panorama, and you one stayed sober and two left early to come and join us for this interview. So thank you very much. Um, I I can I can tell you now that 99 out of 100 artists. Um, might not have done the same thing. <laughs> Thank you for having us, though. It was really a pleasure. <laughs> well, the, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people actually logged on to watch tonight's show. Uh, we have Port of Spain. We have, we have Tobago. I'm gonna mess up the Japanese cities, so you're gonna correct me when I say them. Minato. Minato, good. All right, and then uh, Tacoma. Tacoma City. I, I think so. And then, all right. Well, I know how to say Tokyo, so Tokyo as well. That's Tokyo, yeah. Um, we have we have some fans logged on from Key West. We have some fans in London, England, London, Ontario, Madrid, Spain, New York, Vancouver, Castries, Saint Lucia, Bridgetown, Barbados, Kingston, Jamaica, and Kingstown. So yeah, so big up everybody who logged on. Um, don't forget, y'all can follow Myron. The incredible Myron B on Facebook, Myron, and on Instagram. You're on Instagram as well, right, Myron? Incredible Myron. Right. Incredible Myron. Just look for that on, on the gram. Go to my website, incrediblemyronb.com. You find all the links and everything there. Get some kicks, watch some videos, have some laughs, and have a good time. Right. And then Angie is also on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. What, are, what, are, what are your handles, Angie? Uh, Instagram would be Angie Music. That is uh, A N N G Music without anything in between. Check me out. And Facebook is Angela Giustini. And I also have my group name Carnival Flavors official homepage um, and also Facebook page. So please check it out. I actually make a blog. Uh, please check YouTube. And we actually do take a uh, GoPro and put together a weekly vlog. So nice. yeah, I would nice. appreciate it if you all check that out for me. Absolutely. So you all heard it first. We want to thank you all so much for being here, especially after the crazy, crazy sessions you all have been having between radio performances and trying to also enjoy yourself in your spare time. So thanks for mm -hmm. being here. Thanks for having us, man. Thank you. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> for no, sure. No, we no. This is not last. We want to have you guys back again. For sure. Whether it's together or individually. I would say um, this one the most. This is one of the funniest interviews we've had in a long time. Oh yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good time. Really? Oh, awesome. Easy going. Like easy. No stress. Some people. I like to <laughs> sure. thank some people. Um, everybody that was backing us up for semifinals. Yeah. I'm sorry we couldn't make it to the finals, but I really, really, really appreciate all of your support. And please continue to support us, and we'll do our best to spread so good to the world. To the world. Yeah, and big up DJ Hamel from Japan. She's in Trinidad right now. Right. Um, and DJ Anna. Big up everybody nice. who is on our team, Gabriel Bernard and Mike Starr. Big up Mike Starr. Yes, yeah. and Trini Vibe TV. Trini Vibe TV. Yeah. Big, big, big. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Drive safe. Don't drink and drive. That's it, what you know, see. All right, y'all. Thanks. Back to the panel. See you later. Bye. 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 So that was Angie and Myron B, the incredible Myron B. For real? No, we are getting to news. Oh, we God. have we have we have enough news, so y'all have all seen the video going around the internet of the police car that swerved all over the highway in Trinidad and shot at the car. We have found out that the soccer artist that was in the car was Ben Jai. Yeah, yeah a former a former guest on the show. A former guest on the show. Uh, I sent Ben Jai a 
text message when he didn't answer the call. I sent him a text message saying, do you mind us calling you this Sunday? Um, he didn't respond. I don't want to pick up the phone and call him out of respect. I don't want to just surprise him with a phone call. Hopefully, Benji gets back to us. We're just looking for a statement from his end on what happened there. From Daryl and I watching the video, the official release was that he had breached the yeah. uh, security of the president, or the acting president, who was uh, Timothy Hamill Smith at that point in time, who was on their way to pick up the president, President Carmona, from the airport. And apparently, Benji's car or driver or vehicle or whatever had breached the security perimeter of the car. We didn't see any national security cars. We didn't see any national cars with the with the official um, seal and, and yeah yeah coat of arms and flag on it. So we can you know we can that's like pouring water in a basket, right? We can't add anything to it. So other than that, hopefully we we hear from Benjai soon, and we let you all know. A video was also posted recently on social media about a, a, a piece of like people now mentioning like that. Um, about a piece of KFC, a, a box of dead. Box of dead, boy. No, if you all have squeamish stomachs, or if you, now they have a little dark kind of language, a little mild language. Mild, it's very mild. It's very mild, it's very, mild, mild very mild language. All right, we're lying. There's some cussing in this video as well. <laughs> um, so if you, you know, you could turn away or turn on your volume now or whatever. But do not log off. Don't log off. Do not log off. Ever do, do not log off. But taking this video, the woman is clearly a trainee. We cannot, we cannot um be sure that this actually happened like we have nothing to back up this story either this is just a video we found on facebook and figured well yeah why not they it's just, back yeah they just some, like, some dirtiness on the couch yeah. so this is it and you will hear her, her uh, commentary of this check it out Snap folks and facebook people I am sending this video to show you all what you just be eating in KFC. Me and my bestie was now enjoying our little box of chicken and chips. And we got a, a shit bag. This is a shit bag. All the fowl corn. That is what, look, this, oh. all that we see in there. That is the fowl corn. Turn it back there the and let the us see it. Then the fowl corn, it's really, and it's smelling really bad. This, you have to be careful. And this is Shogunas, KFC. Shogunas Main Road. Yes, it's, it's KFC on the main road in Shogunas. This is really bad. We now eating, and this is what we found in our box. Side so breast. please, folks. Side and this is our side breast also. Please, watch this video carefully. This is actually a shit bag. Nasty. It's very, it's really, really nasty. That's the corn. That is the corn. That is the, that is where the fall was eaten. The corn, boy. The corn. Nastiness, boy. Nastiness. No, you. I know how I know that video from this year. People telling me, boy, that video old, boy, that video old. That video could never be old because the song playing in the background is a 2015 soccer song. So you can never tell me that video from last year and this and that. But um, yeah. So Shagwanas Main Road KFC. If those allegations are true, pressure. As my boy Ian, uh, Ian Allen like to say, it is alleged that that is where they buy the KFC and that that is what they actually got, and that is nastiness. Um, we have news for you all. We want to say congratulations to Ravi B and Ricky Jai, who are joint winners of the Chutney Soccer Monarch 2015. 2015. Also, Elaskin Now, let me ask you a question. How are you going to have joint winners, boy? I mean, that's dead nuts equal votes or straight down the center. I don't know, but I find I find if you have if you have winners, if you have joint winners like that, you should bring them back on stage and say, "All right, not a final." There's something. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there's no. something that runs. Yeah, and you should tell every performer in the finals. You should say, "Watch me. All I had to have a backup, just in case we have a a tie. You had to have a backup song you can come back on stage with." But what they could just do like they normally do on. I don't want to get sued, so I'm just saying. Nothing, nothing. You want to take a political yeah, 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 I want to take a political. But nah, I will keep it to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until yeah. after the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep that to yourself. Um, all right, so we want to go across to these pictures now. This is actually very good news. Um, yeah, that, that works. I'll just scroll through them as best we can. But the uh, Miaro Road. My reminds another road what so 
was on their timeline of the work that J Junior Sammy Jusamko has done down there. So we want to congratulate Jusamko for the good work done down there. We want to thank everyone who is involved in uh, making this project a success. We'll switch over now. You'll see. And so many before pictures. We have a brand new music video. Brand that. new one. Brand spanking. Spankers. Brand spanking. Spankers. When I saw it, it only had 43 views. Yeah, I find she looking good, boy. You find yourself good? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Anyway, so this is... No life after you, man, boy. This is the this is music video for Patrice Roberts. I feel in myself. All they take it in and come right back. We're going to close up the show. We have a couple more things to run for you. Don't worry. Come right back. Hello, Padre. Oh, look at you. You look so good. Cool. You're so beautiful. <laughs> You're sexy. I know. Uh huh. What you say? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you in the mirror. I like you. Hey, ask me how I feel. I feel it. See, my stop, uh, we're not talking up here, there. My stop stalking, um, Angie on, on, on I don't all. know what you're talking about, you know. So, little boy, his whole week is uh, all right, all right. I know, I know. I, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to relax. So, that's Patrice Roberts. I feel him. Oh, god, she looking good. Yeah, I, I bet best. Patrice looking good. Um, before you see this, this video that we know about to run for you all, this was a close second for Kaka Hola the week. Um, we could not. Validate the video for its 
for its date. That's why I didn't want to bring this up as Kakaholari Beach. But a couple of weeks ago, we said that, you know, we talked about keeping your, your children off of social media and this and that. Well, this also is another parenting thing as well. This is a video of a bunch of school girls, not boys, eh? school girls, girls, right? Fighting, fighting like big hardback man, right? And um, is is deplorable, but it's depressing to see. Right, girls get on like this. So, let me run the video for them. Let me uh, run the... You're probably sorry. We can't have Febreze as because Bob forget to be in today. So, anyway, spraying up my arm. Let me run to the arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't pinpoint the uniform neither, boy. But if any of y'all watching could pinpoint that uniform, let me know. Because that, that school need a phone call I think for sure. We had a we had a we had a run this video. You know? This one here. Yeah, <laughs> you like that video. I like it. Before video. before we run it, uh, before we run in my run B, my run to the week this week. Last week was Miss Universe. Am I correct in saying that? Or the week before? Nah, that was last week. Last week. Yeah. Time flies in here, having fun. Anyways. I posted a video on Instagram talking about bandwagoners. We had a we had a representative at Miss Universe too, eh? All the Trinis around the world, Trinidad and Tobago, right? Had a representative, and you would have never know that, based on how you always get on for Miss Jamaica. All right, Miss Jamaica was our best piece. She had some best answers, smart girl. But before Trinidad and Tobago even get eliminated. All your ranting and raving on Facebook about Mr. And then when Mr. Make I win, you swear Mr. Now to be where I win. If you see rant and rave on Facebook. So all your relax, all yourself, me please stop jumping on bandwagon. Alright? Because she have a Halle Berry haircut. Well, I know she was a peace boy. She looked very <laughs> good. But I understand if after the fact that Mr. Nadal gets knocked out, you vote for the next Caribbean lady that's still in it. Alright, cool. But from the get go, we had people jumping on the Jamaica um, bandwagon. Well, you're cool that for a while. We're going to run into this video. This, this, is, have, this is Mr. Antibago for real. Oh, this Lord one, this, 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 this young lady beat back Miss Jamaica. Beat, definitely tenfold. beat back Miss Columbia. Yeah, yeah, tenfold. There's a, there's a piece. Tenfold, yeah. There's a best piece. 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 Myron? After, after this, we're going to come back. Daryl is going to nominate the Kakahole of the week this week. And we'll close off. So come right back. Myron, you, you, you do well with this one. Huh? You do well, you do well. <laughs> Just need to have nothing I pray to do Sometimes in all my adventures I just bite off more than I could chew I meet a lady the other day She weighing 300 pounds I never had a girlfriend big like that So I decided to run she down After dating for 3 months or so She invited me to her place We had a couple drinks, watch a DVD Then we lie down face to face we fall asleep, hugging up each other, resting peacefully. Then in the middle of the night, she changed position and land on top of me. I start to fall, just like a wall, fall and crush me. Lord, I try to lift she, I try to shift she, but she just not moving at all. If you hear me, baby, roll over, roll up on me, baby, roll over. Up 
Anyway, sorry. Oh God, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? I, I, oh God, I must wait. Let up. All right, so that's the end of the show this week. week. You have to do the Turn out the bigger police service. You are the taka hole of the week for trying to hold Panorama to hostage. Yeah. Right? You, you could negotiate any other time of the year. Leave people carnival alone now. Yeah. They yeah. live each year for February and you want to come and play thing. Well, my thing, yeah. my thing is, is Ebola couldn't even stop carnival from happening exactly. and Panorama from happening. Trinidad and Tobago police service is trying to, trying to jump in this scene. You know what I mean? Right? Um, I believe the union rep went on and said how, um, you know, it is voluntarily, it is voluntary of them to be there that day. It is not mandatory. Mm. Of course, at the same time too, it's not mandatory to, you understand, to do a lot of things about your job. But oh God, that's your job. You hear that, right? Yeah, boy. Yeah, so we can add cause that we said yeah, we can add a bunch of nice me right now. Oh, <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Sherwin Winchester, big enough, TrinityVibeTV.com, Darrell, Bob, and of course, big up, Philo, big up to Trini Vibes TV. Trini Vibes TV. Trini Vibes TV. Trini Vibes TV. And TrinityVibeTV.com. Anyway. Ah. Oh. Santana say so.